In this video, we'll be showing you how to reset your firewall on Ubuntu 20.4.2, which is the latest LTL release. When working with a firewall, you'll typically be using the built-in tool called UFW, which stands for Uncomplicated Firewall, and comes pre-installed on Ubuntu. Um, the first thing you'll want to do is we'll go and look at our status of our firewall so that we could see what we're actually doing here. So we currently have a bunch of ports open, 222, which is our SSH connection, and then some other ports that we don't want. The first thing that we're going to do before resetting this is to actually disable a firewall altogether. And we can do that with the disable command. Um, and we like to tack on the force just to make sure that any outstanding connections will be dropped from it right away. And there we go. And we could check the status on it again. And we can see that our firewall is now inactive, which means that we are completely open. Um, so if you're having some connection issues and you think it's the firewall, right now would be the time to check it. However, we want to just do a full reset. So what we're going to do is uh, use the reset command, again with force. And that will go through and make backups of our existing rules and go through and do a full clean of the firewall. So right now the firewall is set up with its defaults, which we don't want. Um, so what we want to do is reset the defaults for allowing all outgoing traffic and denying all incoming traffic. Um, and we'll go through later and set up the ports that we actually want to allow to come in. So let's start with allowing incoming traffic. So there we have our allowing of our outgoing traffic. So this machine could be able to access the internet now without any restrictions. And we want to deny all incoming traffic. And this will just block everything as it comes in if it's not on our allowed list. So the first thing we want to do before re-enabling the firewall is to make sure we have our SSH connection ready to go. And to do that, we need to allow port 22, which is what SSH runs on. And we can allow that port by using UFW allow 22 on TCP. And there we go. It added the IPv4 and IPv6 um, allowances by default. If you have uh, IPv6 disabled, it's smart enough to know not to enable it by default. And then you'd have to go and add it after the fact if you go decide to go back and add IPv6. So now let's go ahead and enable the firewall, which is just, you guessed it, the enable command. And we could check on the status. And there we go. We have our firewall reset with SSH enabled. Um, but this server is also going to be used for a web server. So we're going to want it to enable port 80 for HTTP and port 443 for HTTPS. And we could do that while the web server or while the firewall is up and running. So you can see again, it added it for IPv6 and IPv4. And there they are. And we also want port 443. Yep. And there you go. That is a complete reset of your firewall rules in Ubuntu.